Hello guys and welcome to episode 29 of my Total War Warhammer 2 playthrough playing as Clan Scryer going for world domination. Previously we took the Ziggurat of Dawn and today we're going to try and continue to put pressure on the Hexoatl. We also need to take out the pesky New World colonies at Tor Dranel after taking that from us. That was rather rude. So we'll try and get our own back. Now the other thing that I need to look at is attacking Karan. Now, we're pretty close to attacking Karan. Uh, we do have, of course, Brom here ready to hit Paravon. I think we also have another army. Yeah, Stretch here who's almost ready to take out Canellis. We can actually move him around already. So yeah, it's almost time to attack Karan, and I think we probably could. Uh, let's go into Diplomacy. I just need to double check their allies. We have looked at this before, but I'm pretty sure they have a lot of allies. Oh, wait. Since when did they ally the dwarves? They're at war. What? They have so many allies. Okay, so the border princes, I don't really care about. Actually, yeah, I do. Border princes and the dwarves is really annoying, actually. Previously, it was just Ostland and all of these guys, like in the Empire, which wasn't too bad, but the dwarves and the border princes makes all the difference because that means I'm going to have to defend my eastern flank as well over here. I guess one way we could do this is by declaring on one of Karan's allies to pull them into a war without pulling in the dwarves. But we've got to find out who it, who that is. So if we declare war in the Lorenorn Forest, Ostland, Midland, Marienburg, Hochland and Karan will join. Uh, which isn't too bad actually. That's looking quite promising. Who else could we do it to? Higgins Errantry. Has more allies. Okay, that's not going to work. I am the blood of Water Princes. Nope, not going to work. They're allied with the dwarves. King Luan Leon. What about Osland? Wow, they have even more allies. Okay. <laughs> Why is everybody allied? I don't get it. Literally, everybody is allied. But apparently they're still fighting somehow. I don't know. That's weird. Maybe it's because they have like common enemy in the chaos armies Talavik land no nope. just as bad champion of the lady minland no nope. just as bad i honestly think lorenon forest is going to be the best one so we declare war on these guys that pulls in Karon, who's reliable. The rest of them aren't reliable. Osland is. Okay. Let's do that. They are joined by all of them. Okay, that's good. So we're now at war with Karon. Okay, let's jump on in. Aravon is ours. So we've got to try and smash Karon it to pieces. ASAP, because if we delay, loads of people are going to declare war on us, because we're now at war with like five more people, six more people, actually. Yeah, and all of those people in that alliance could get called in by any one of those factions. So the dwarves, the border princes, etc. So we've really got to like get this war on our side ASAP. It's going to be really, really rough. Uh, these poison with mortars, we'll have them off to one side. Death globe. Bombardiers can come off to one side as well. I'm probably just going to have all of this artillery just destroy the left side tower. Storm Vermin, we can have these climb, of course. I don't know if I should move these up. Let's have the all block to Zales over on the left side. These can hit the gate. As you had all of these hit the gate. Okay. We'll gamble. Cool. Off we go. It shall be done. Okay, and these need to be hitting any tower. So we'll hit the closest tower that's manned. That's actually pretty good. We'll get the Death Globe Bombardiers to move up now. Damn, those uh, peasant bowmen got absolutely annihilated. I guess it's probably due to the poison wind mortars, actually. They're probably doing quite a bit of damage. 
Yeah, these don't have much health, so when they get poisoned, they take a lot of damage. Lovely. We do have some menace below, but probably not going to use it that much. Alright, let's move these up. Okay, uh, let's hit the Knights of the Realm actually with the Poison Wind Mortars. Uh, they might not allow us to do so. We'll see. Uh, they did stop. Uh, the reason I'm targeting the Poison Wind Mortars onto the uh, Knights of the Realm is because I don't want them to hit my own troops when they go up the wall. They did actually manage to hit the Foot Squires quite well there, which is doing damage over time. Oh, that was lovely damage there. Beautiful. Okay, let's hit those foot squires now. Or is the gate open? It should be. Yeah, it is. Pull back a second. We do have Vermintide that we can sort of bring up inside. I can also stack that with the clan rats. And the the uh, menace below that is, because obviously they're both clan rats. The artillery coming in strong there on top of those foot squires. That's good. His peasant bowmen getting wrecked by rattling guns. I'm trying to see if we can get some like decent shots with the with the death globe mortars, but or the bombardiers, sorry. But they don't seem to want to like throw up and over, which would be cool if they could. Let's hit the first squires on the middle there with the mortars. We've done a lot of damage to the Knights of the Realm though. If that poison is still doing damage, that might kill off quite a lot of models because they're all on low health. Gotta be really careful with these poison with mortars. They can do a serious amount of friendly fire. <laughs> I'm going to have these engage the Knights of the Realm. Okay, we're going to stop those firing now. We've already done tons of damage. Stop them firing. Great. So all of the infantry on the wall is gone. We also killed off the horses. So is it? Just the Pegasus Knights left. Move forwards the Warp Lightning Cannons to shoot those. And we can have the Rat Ogres just demolish this Paladin. We can also have the Warlord attack him actually. Ah, oh, that's it, that's victory. I was going to say, like, surely army losses should kick in soon. Like, Storm Vermin on the walls compared to Scaven Slaves is so strong. Damn. Makes a big difference. I guess that is Bretonian Wars though. Wasn't really much substance in that in those units. Exodus Knights got 62 kills and took no damage. Fair enough. Probably managed to get a charge in somewhere. They did come over briefly, but then they flew out, flew back. I should probably put the weapon strength onto a unit. Probably better to just put it on our lord. The leadership onto our sorceress. Or sorcerer. Um, Do we sack it? Probably not. We'll probably just take it. Although actually we have more than enough movement to sack it and then take it, don't we? Yeah, cool. And we can level up there. Nice. Engineering skill. Thank you very much. Stink of command. And we'll go for magical reserves. Okay. Chief Warlock, Ickit Claw. Ickit Claw's already moved. Let's go to transform. Transform. 
can move up towards Venom Glade. Let's maintain like enough movement that we can go into ambush. And we'll probably do the same here. We'll move up to Hotex Column. Because if either of these is actually discovered... Oh. What's this army? Tyrion. I was going to say, if I, either of these are discovered, then the army in Hotex Column could go to Venom Glade, but it looks like it's gone over here. Maybe. I'm not sure. Yeah, there's no army in Hotex Column. Let's go into Ambush Stance. For Arkstorm... Probably doesn't need to go up here anymore. I mean, we're going to remain allies with Nagaron for a little while, so that's okay. I guess for the Exiles and the Heck, maybe, but we've got, what, three armies that are going to destroy Eertain's settlements and then move across to the Exiles of the Heck and then carry down, carry on down. So... I feel like Arkstorm should maybe come on land at Ulthawan and maybe take out the gates might be a good idea. Because in order to destroy Eertain once for all, we need to, of course, destroy the gates, so... I think I'll try and do that. Tempting to go for this treasure, but I don't think it's worth losing the movement range to do that. All right, as for Faderife, if we're going to go for the gates, it might be worth actually trying to take the gates now when we're in range. Like, Faderife might be able to take that out. We'll ambush that guy. That's good. We'll get the leadership. Good. And then we can go for Eagle Gate. A little bit concerned about that attack, actually. Let's just level up this guy first. Get the Envoy of the Council for the extra diplomatic relations with Skaven. It's pretty important. And this guy can be immortal. Great. Okay. A bit more confident about attacking now. We can take out the Eagle Claw Bolt Throwers, no problem. All of these archers are a bit of an issue, but I guess I won't be firing for that long. We can always warp storm doom rocket if things get get a bit out of control. Have a look at this map. All right, it's this one, yeah. Mm. All right, we'll jump on in. We have enough menace below to take out the artillery at least. I'm just concerned that my. Weapon teams won't do anything in this battle. So it's really going to be on like my sorcerer to get lots of damage down. They won't have really enough spaces for the gate guard and stuff on the walls to pepper us with arrows. So we'll take a bit of damage when we head towards them, but not after that. And I'm going to use these to just destroy the towers so we don't take any damage onto our weapon teams after the start. And we can just line these up and chew things up on the walls quite well. Okay, uh, this guy can go and hit the gate. I don't know. Oh, we do have those that can both hit the gate. Cool. Start the battle. Off we go. Let's go climb up on that side. Move up these. What do these need to hit the wall? Or hit the tower. And then I'm going to start moving these up on the left-hand side. So I should be able to take out the tower quite quickly. We have a lot of artillery, so... Hopefully that will get the job done. Okay, let's take out the one on the right. There's quite a lot of fire coming in, but... Honestly, not too bad. The gutter runners thing is, the poison will actually make these less effective. That's good. And my rattling guns into position. I'm just going to want to do as much damage to them as possible on the walls. The tower's almost dead. And then my artillery can start hitting these guys. We can use the plague claw catapults to hit different units on the walls. Uh, meanwhile, probably gonna drop in the menace below so that we can weaken their forces. 
All right, we did break open the gate, but I'm not going to push through. All right, I'm going to move these up a little bit closer so they can hit the stuff on top of the gate. I'm going to move the Eschen Slingers across. Did I manage to route that unit? And well, we took them off of their bolt throwers, so that's something at least. All right, we just want to basically attack everything on the walls first of all. Right, and once those guys are out of the way, well, there is the Silver Helms here, but I basically just want to unseat the Eagle Claw Bolt Throwers from their siege equipment. Right, I'm going to move a unit of these in front of the gate. Okay. Let's get some warp lightning down here. And I'm probably going to want to find a nice place to... Actually, I guess we put it on top of the sword masters. That would make more sense. I was going to say I need a nice place to put the uh, sort of stone, but it looks like I might be given one soon. We're very, very clumped up there. That was a good bit of damage. That's good. Over here, yeah, we definitely got rid of their artillery. That's good. Oh, nice hits coming in onto the stairs. That's what we like to see. Just going to use the warp lightning off cooldown, I think. We're saying that. Let's uh, go ahead and bring down the assault of stone onto the gate. Oh wow, those guys got wrecked. That's just the uh, the archers on the on the top there. Well, smash them with a warp lightning. This is going to hit so well. Oh my, that was beautiful. That was beautiful. Okay, uh, let's hit these archers with light armor on top of the gate there. So they stop killing my weapon team. There we go. That's more like it. Doing well. We're doing well. Just got to keep the pressure on. Bunch them up together. Drop some more warp lightning on top of them. Especially on the stairs here. This is great. So much damage done. And even more being done by the warp fire throwers. I'm just getting a great angle there to just melt them. I'm just going to stop that and fire it well again. And the Skaven slaves, I mean, they're holding really well. Right, if the unit on the gate is dead, they won't be shooting my weapon team anymore, so I can set that up in front of the gate. Alright, there is a Swordmaster of Hoeth up there. Looks like they might dodge that attack. Oh no, that hit quite well. Gonna get nice and close to the wall. I'm gonna Helm of Discord these guys. Probably should have done that sooner. Alright, let's kill off that Eagle Claw Bolt Throw unit. Oh, 
All right, those are dead. Get up onto the wall there and engage those. Sword Masters of Hoeth are in a bad spot. They're taking a lot of damage, that's good. They're getting poisoned. Oh my. That artillery coming in. Beautiful stuff. Alright, let's get the assassin and the rat ogres to go and hit the noble. The eagle's almost dead. This is going to be over soon, surely. I guess I could probably try and get into range of the silver helms further back. That might be a good idea. I'm going to bring up these guys here. We'll have them just charge into the Silver Helms. So my Skaven Slaves pretty much all died. But I would say that's worth it. Starting to affect their leadership. Which is good. Lovely hit there. That should rout them. Yep, that's it. Victory. Great. At least I know that army can take out gates now. I can use the global recruitment to pick up more Skaven slaves if I need to. Yeah, that's good. I'm surprised how badly the Swordmaster of Hoeth did. I mean, one of them got 141 kills, which is okay, but it's not that good, honestly. My Skaven Slaves hold in true, and we didn't actually lose any of them. That's good. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. Um, we could upgrade this, but really no point. So... Do we just, like, raise it and get the money? Or get the food? How much food do we need? I could raise it for the food. And then we can take it next turn, maybe. Oh, that would actually require me to... Yeah, that's kind of annoying, actually. To recolonize it, which would maybe waste a turn. Oh, well. I'll take the food. I'm happy with that. Okay, here we can go for Warp Smart. That's good. Yeah, I'll just leave that like that. I could maybe get a lord recruited here and then just go and use him to take it. it will cost me a lot to do that. That's good. One more gate dealt with. Ooh, Eatane, that's a expensive upgrade. We'll change the expansionist and then do that because that is a lot of cash we got to spend there. Guy in Veil, vale. nothing special going on here really. Do I need the public order? We've already got the military crap down going. I think we're going to go for Taskmaster's platform first though. Start building up walls because we've already got that to level 3. Puzzle Carcassonne can upgrade. Um, Safari. And build some walls. And I'm go for the Rattling Warren. It's fine. And Karakai Zor may as well upgrade to the Warp Turbine Plant, which will give us extra hero capacity for Warlock Engineers. All right, Doom Glades. I uh, probably want to upgrade Val's Anvil first. And at Nagarith we can get, finally, the Shrine of Cain upgraded. Get Toran Lek, the Overseer's Lookout. Cool. So public order across the board should be sorting itself out because we no longer have the Confederation penalty. We're not going to do that. Do you have the damage buildings at Whitefire Tor? We destroyed the army that hit that previously.
Okay, Skrull. Uh, might as well head down toward Red Desert and take that. The next turn we can occupy that. Great. Right, Bail Quint can continue along the top. Gittis can continue down. I think we're going to have these like Warlock Engineers start heading back. I don't really need that many more Under Empires, I don't think. We can continue to push them down. Alright, Morphage can get up here. I'm probably going to put it in like Marienburg's land or Midlands. That'd be a decent idea, I think. Just to slow them down. Well, it's two more turns till Toxide's finished. I think that is every army moved. Okay. Cool. Let's move on to the next turn, I think. Just double checking. We're actually starting to get our attitude value back with Clan Pestilence, which is quite nice. So maybe we can look towards a confederation at some point. We don't want any deals with the Exiles of Nehek. We're about to attack them, so yeah. Cool, that's everything done. Let's move on. Okay, so it looks like the Monolith is under attack. Um, this is going to take place outside the settlement because we don't have walls here yet. I think I was in the process of building walls. I don't know if it would be worth playing this out or not. We do have some Poison Wing Globber Deer, so we probably do quite a lot of damage, but there's tons of cavalry. Ah, I'm not going to bother. That's fine, he just sacked it. We're going to go and take Hotex Column anyway. Ooh, confederation between Trace and Eotain. Looks like Eotain's going to survive a little while longer. Cold of Sotek has united against us. Robbers of Chaos is destroyed. Military alliance between the Spirit of the Jungle and Koron. Oh, they're getting so many allies. Yeah, hopefully they don't call them in. That would be really annoying. Exiles of the Heck. Pretty close to our lands. Yeah, taking Hotek's column and Clark Arond would be pretty nice. We'll have those soon enough. Koron. Don't have any armies nearby at the moment. That's good. So there's a tour. Defensive Alliance. We don't want that. Thank you very much. Auckland. They might send some troops down, but I doubt it. And if they do, so be it. Well, that's something we expected. Like Midland. They were going to attack us down there because they had that army in our lands. I think the army of that fort is actually pretty good. Okay, we don't need to care about any of this stuff. Haven't seen any servants to chaos, thankfully. Transform's ambush was foiled, but that's okay. Nothing to worry about. Toxide is loyal again. Perfect. Because that means I can switch him out. Replace Lord with Tretch. <laughs> There we go. Chief Warlock, so, Ikit Claw. Oh, no way are we in range just to go straight for Hexoattle from here. That is some crazy range. No way. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. It's actually beautiful. Got an achievement. No idea what that is. But either way, 
This will be actually a relatively hard battle against the temple guards on the walls. I'm going to need some minutes below, I think. This is pretty rough. We're actually getting low on food. We'll make back the four that we put into this, though, at least. Let's jump in. Fight this on the battle map. I think Claw's going to have a lot of weight on his shoulders, that's for sure. So we'll have to probably put our artillery over to one side and just start hitting some of the gates. Or some of the towers, sorry. We're going to do this. Bring the artillery over here as well. Get the weapon teams over here. Actually going to put these into separate groups. That's going to be our attack group. This is our gate group. Although I don't know if I'll push the gate immediately. Probably not. I'll probably wait for the towers to do the thing. Start the battle. Okay. We are hitting the Saraskar veteran there quite hard, which is good. This game of spears taking damage is fine. They're there to die, so it's all good. I'm gonna start moving Naked Claw further up. Only because he has magic. Makes sense to do so. Are they not going to try and stop us taking the walls? Interesting. They've spawned a unit. Who did they spawn? The temple guards? Hmm. Well, we'll destroy that tower and I'm going to move these forwards. It looks like they're playing off the walls. We don't actually have anything that can stand on the walls and attack them. So that's kind of awkward. <laughs> but we certainly do have stuff that can attack the temple guards behind the walls. Uh, standing up here and being hit by the skink cohort is kind of annoying. I might actually have to put down my magic on top of that. Oh, well that wiped out that skin cohort. Cool. Probably want to move these out of the way. Let's just move them to the center. Taunt them there. Okay, gonna have one of these attack each of these temple guards. And I guess I'm gonna have to kill the gate. Yeah, let's just go and hit the gate. Oh wow, why are they going down? That's not good. That's not good at all. Um, I'm actually saying that. No, maybe it is good. They're starting to clump up quite a bit.
Alright, those Death Runners, they really, really messed us up. And honestly, I'm going to have to start getting my weapon teams over here. This game is saved as doing a runner. The death squad's just dead. <laughs> Ironically. Okay. The Doom players need to back off. They can't really go through as they are. I think the gate's not destroyed. That's like one big problem we're having here. So the Doom Flayers are getting stuck. Can we not hit the Skink Priests? No, not very effectively. Mm, this is a tough old battle. I'm going to do crack school through there. Oh, that whiffed completely. Nice. Are we getting some hits onto these? I don't think we are. Oh, go on, just wreck that kind of sort for me. Really need to just make sure that gate's open. Right, that did a lot of damage. You know what I'm probably going to do? I'm going to have to Doom Rocket this, I think. Because otherwise we're definitely not going to win. There we go. That's more like it. Right, let's move these both back. That gate's still not open. 99% gate damage, of course. Okay, thank you. Get out. <laughs> Alright, shoot the counter sword to death. Thank you very much. All of my melee of the tree just like really messed up. It's really unfortunate. And let's have these attack the skin cohort on the wall. I think that's just complete waste of ammunition, isn't it? Dunno. Let's just stop that firing. Okay. Go 
issue we have in here is apparently like the front line of the Plague Monks and Sparrows is actually attacking these guys. What I might do is just try and like manually run them up on the wall. Okay, no, never mind. They're all going to come off the wall if we do that. Ah, that's so annoying. So annoying. How are we going to kill these boys on the wall? I guess I could maybe use his last brass orb. Oh, we've already used that. Hmm. allow these to fire away again. Hopefully they won't all target the Sarah Scar veteran. Well, they are. Okay. Instead, purposefully target the Carnosaur through the gate. Okay, good. Shoot the Croxcore Ancient through the gate, please. Oh, about towers activated. You're having a laugh. I don't know why they keep going off the wall there. It's really annoying. Just go up the stairs. Maybe we can get some decent shots in from here, I don't know. Something weird is going on. It's kind of annoying. Seems bugged out. These guys just on the edge here, they're activating this tower as well. And if we win, it's good regardless, but I don't see myself winning at the moment. With the way that this is going. I don't know if we have good shots onto the skink cohort there. Alright, we are starting to get some damage in. The thing is, if I can get rid of the stuff on the walls, we can just stand in front of the gate. These shouldn't be firing at will, because they're just wasting ammunition again. Okay, they've got all their leaders on the gate. The towers either side are clear. Alright, let's just go like so and put them right in front. See what happens. Okay, can we get like decent shots in, please? <clears throat> in the Croxagores.
Okay, good. Getting those crocs of gauze off. Alright, next up, the ancient Stegodon. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Okay, next thing. We got a. I mean, this can probably start firing at the ancient Stegodon already, but these ones probably need to move over a bit more to the right hand side. These can actually start hitting the Cropscore Ancient. Okay, good. Their lord's dead. Alright. That should be enough. If I move these in now, we can probably have my assassin go and kill the guys on the walls. We can certainly bring in a bunch of clan rats. Let's kill that Sarah Scar veteran. Okay, great. Phew. Alright, that took way more than I would have hoped, but oh well. Still one. Yeah, that was rough, I don't know. Not being able to go onto the gate there in the middle really screwed me. Like when I gave the order for my infantry to spread out, they all came off the wall and got killed. We kept the rest of our stuff alive and the warp storm doom rocket really helped out. But yeah, that was frustrating. Really frustrating. Okay, and we didn't make back the food either that we wanted. Uh, we're just going to occupy straight away because we're not in range to do that twice. Like right, to sack and then reoccupy. I think it's more important that we take the take this out of their hands. I mean, he's start building it up ASAP. Make it claw. We could global recruit some storm vermin, maybe. It might be a good idea. Spend some time recruiting some storm vermin into his army to hold the front line. Give him some substance, finally. We did lose the council guard. I don't know if I can be bothered to wait for four turns. Let's just throw these in and then grab a bunch of stuff that only takes one turn. That'll do. Alright, Alcest has got to take out this rebellion. That's plenty of food, thank you very much. Good. I did have someone say that you might have to force rebellions to get food in the late game, which would be quite ridiculous. Do we get more food for that? Yeah, we got like 28 food in total, I think that was, plus the food from the enslave. If that push that back up. I guess if we removed a lot of our under empire, which will happen eventually, and we won't be paying for the food for that. Okay. Are there any traits that give us food? No. For Olsess. I think I'm just going to give him, like, maybe tail weapon now. Yeah, I think I'm going to give him tail weapon. And we'll head towards, like, the expeditious endeavor to make him move faster on his bell. I need to choose where he's going to go, though, from here. Actually, probably a good idea to just come up and hit Leonis. 
Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Right, can we, we can move through past Karon. And I'm going to hit probably Marienberg, I think, with the plague. Okay, Transform can take Venom Blade. Fantastic. Let's just occupy that. And unfortunately, guys, it has been my time. So I'm going to leave it here. In the next episode, we'll take Hotex Column with Corporal Bolt. Should be able to do that. Yep, should be fine. There's a couple of armies there, but it should be okay. Uh, then we can go ahead and take Clark Caron, which will be like the last major settlement. Actually, never mind, they've got the ancient city of Kintex now, haven't they? Yes, yeah, so we're going to have to deal with that as well. There might be something for Arkstorm to do other than attack the gates, because we know that... We know that this army can kill gates. Vader Eif. And Arkstorm's not going to be able to hit Tordranel this turn. Maybe we just move straight over to the ancient city of Kintex and take that out. Because we do have the movement to get quite far on land there. I think I'm going to do that. It's more important. Because this is a major city. They can build new armies there. Okay, yeah, that's it. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.